Hey, welcome back, friends, to Scrapping It Up. I'm Vanessa Peter, and this is the 12 Weeks of Christmas. And we are continuing with our uh, Expandable Folio Spine album. And last time, um, we done some decorating. So, off camera, I uh, taped it all down and stuff, and... Uh, <laughs> I done one mistake. I did cut a piece of paper too short. So I didn't glue it down because I wanted to show you ladies what you guys can do when this happens. Because if you're um, running tight on paper, it, it sucks. <laughs> so uh, I quickly just, I got that all down. I did make a change here. Oh, better make sure I'm still camera. I did make a small change here. I just scooted that over, added this here out of the cut aparts, and I just cut like the arrow was like that, and I just cut along side of it just to give it just a little bit more dimension. Um, I stuck all that down. Oops, that folds first. And I went ahead and left my pieces on here so you guys would know um, where I stuck paper down. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, ladies, what I've done. <laughs> I shouldn't tell you, but I will. <laughs> oh, like a dum-dum. I uh, put my tape on this paper, and I thought, well, I'll take off the sticker when I get done taking my tape off. Guess what? This page here has the sticker underneath of it, the little piece. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this? No, this is off the other page. But I'm pretty sure one of these is still underneath this piece here. <laughs> Oh, I tattled on myself. <laughs> oh, okay. So that just closes like that. And I went ahead and uh, got this side here. I, I put the black here, if you noticed. I put the black here. I put the gray here. Just to give it a little bit of a... Oh, not ver variety. Um, I can't think of the word... Uh, uh, a little bit different texture, ladies, okay? So, this piece here is piece C, okay? Yep, I'm pretty sure that i d I done that. I just left one underneath here. I just know I can't feel it. Well, maybe, no. I'm pretty sure it's underneath there. <laughs> oh, so if you're... Make sure you take it. <laughs> Don't be like me. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, piece A. We had, I got my tape, I got my tape all on it. This piece here um, is just a little bit too short and I didn't like it. It was leaving too much of a border for me. So what I'm, what I'm going to show you ladies is what you can do because you, some paper pads, you know, they just have one piece of paper. Well, and you already cut it, and, you know, it was leaving a border almost like that, and I didn't like it. So what I'm doing, I cut a piece of my plain cardstock, and I'm going to stick it here, and then I'm going to stick that down. So let me do that real quick to show you. Okay. Because I know, I know it, it can happen. We get up and do something, come back, and we cut, and it's like, crap, it's too short. I don't have another piece. So I want to show you this um, little aspect here, ladies. Making sure I get my corners all taped down real good. Yep, oh. oh. Need a little bit more tape in this corner. I like to make sure I get my corners. I get enough tape on my corners. Okay, do I want to ink this? Decisions, decisions. I don't think I will. All right. So, I'm just going to put it here. Try and get it all the same. Nope, I got more up at the top. All 
All right. Take that off. Don't leave that on there. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put this piece, and hopefully, I'm going to check, and hopefully, it is the same size. Okay. I just didn't like the the big border that it was leaving. I didn't like it. So this is a way, and my paper, it's my white paper is just a hair longer than my. So I'm gonna try and accommodate for that. So I don't want it to be too noticeable. All right. So that's what you can do, ladies, um, if you cut your piece too short. So you can do stuff like that. Now see what it, it just added to that. See how that added? It just, it just kind of almost wowed it a little bit. So I'm going to do the same thing over on the other side. But I, I didn't want to stick it on there, and but I wanted to show you guys what you can do if you make a mistake. Because I, like I always say, there's never a mistake in scrapbooking. We can always, always fix our mistakes. So I'll put that piece and the other piece on off camera. So I'm going to wait on that piece. Okay, let's open this up. Let's decorate. And this is the back side of this. So here, here's piece C. Okay. Here's piece A. Okay. So let's open this up. Let's decorate this. And I'm liking that underneath there. Yep, I think, I think that is a go. Okay, this is a hair a little over six. So I'm going to cut this just a hair under six. Okay, so I'm going to cut it just a hair under six. Oh, wait a minute, ladies. Wait a minute. I got to go clear to here. So pay attention. It's a good thing that I checked. You've got to go clear to here. This is our belly band. See, that's our belly band. It's a good thing, guys. Check that. I wondered why it was off a little bit. And it's seven, so we want to cut this at six and three quarters. Whew. Motto is, check twice, cut once. <laughs> All right, and we know it is ten and three quarters because it's the full length of our album. What I cut that at? Oh my word, Vanessa! Ugh. <laughs> Here I was just discussing. I cut that at nine. All right, let me get my other piece of paper. Surely I can put that somewhere else. <laughs> Dang it! Let's see that. I'll have to find another spot for that. 
to where, you know, I was using on that other one, I already using my two pieces because one on one side and one on the other, I had to do something. So this place here, hopefully I can use this piece someplace else. Okay, I better check. Okay, six and three quarters. By ten and three quarters, ladies. Cheapers. I bet you guys were thinking, Vanessa, you're cutting that wrong. <laughs> oh, my word. Because we'll, ha we'll have a photo mat underneath that. So this, let's see. I'm going to look through my little cards I cut out. That's just... Nope, that's just... That's too, that's too much alike. Yep. Too much alike. I kind of like that one. I think we'll just use that one. Now, um, what do we got left? like photo mats so three and a quarter so three and a quarter would work because I like to leave um, you can print out pictures you know two by threes three by threes now so three and a quarter by three and a quarter you know in the second I'll show you something too what you, you guys can do. I ain't gonna get three and a quarter out of that twice, darn it. Oh well. So if you put these here, okay, And let's say your your photograph is two by two, okay? So you could put your photograph over here and you could journal about what the picture is here. Let's say, you know, it's uh, the Grand Canyon. So you could write Grand Canyon here and put your photo here. You know, Grand Canyon, um, beautiful or something like that. So just because you cut the photo mats, um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter doesn't mean that you have to put a three three inch by three inch picture there you know you could just use it to journal or put your whole picture there or you know a partial picture and journal on the other side of your mats because I, I truly believe um, you need a journal because one of these days and I know you guys he have heard me say this before but, you know, one of these days we're not going to be around to tell about these photographs. So that you need to journal so, you know, your grandkids will know why you're laughing and pointing over that way. Because, you know, she uh, almost fell, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's important, guys. Okay. I'm just looking to see. No. I think we'll stay with the cream colored. Okay, so what's that look like when we close it? That doesn't look bad, ladies. Okay, now let's pick out our paper for here. Okay, let's pick out our paper for here. Okay, when we close this, that covers that up. All right. Is that going to be too close? I'm going to... I'm going to cut those border strips off. So I have the paper just left. Okay, that does fit. That does look nice. 
Enjoy the view and live the adventure. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. No, it's too long for that. But we could do it here. And a lot of times um, when you got borders like this, um, your albums are just too small to use borders like this. Let me show you here. Let's see. I'll show you. Let me get it cut here. So, you could cut it off right here. So you could cut that off and say, enjoy the view here. Then this part here, you could put down here. Oh, maybe we should do that. The second ladies, let me see. So just because they're too big, for your album don't be afraid don't be afraid ladies to cut these okay or you know we could even put in the middle hmm <coughs> hmm oh decisions decisions all right, we may use that on the, um, our photo mats where we flip the and has pockets. But I do like that. So then we had this here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this for right here because I can always use it on the other side. It's no big deal. So five and a quarter is my measurement that I want. So five and a quarter. And I'll cut the top border off. I know I'm cutting off line or off, off camera. So if this went here, Excuse me. I do like that. What would we do over here? Okay, let me think. Okay, let's... I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So we have almost seven and a half. No, seven and three quarters. So cut it at seven and a half. I'm going to go just a little over seven and a half. Excuse me, dang it. I think I'm liking that. Okay, if I put a journal card here. And we'll make a full mat for that. That's almost too much writing.
let's I'm gonna see what the lighter gray does. We gotta look to see what's over here too. I don't know. Let's cut a piece of this lighter gray. Okay, I'm gonna cut a full mat, which would be six and a quarter by four and a quarter would be a full mat. So we could go down Looking at my options, ladies. Okay. Let me see. Trying to keep all my scraps over here in my pile. Trying to stay organized. <laughs> I'm just seeing what it would. That looks pretty neat. But we could always use that for the other side. So I'm going to. Flip over, ladies. Okay, so what would I put? Put that there. And if we put this here okay I like that because this doesn't have to be the same because we're not um, you're not looking at it all at once so five and a quarter and it doesn't have to be the same even if you know like I have it I'm just I'm bad about that that's just one of my even when I do 12 by 12 layouts, ladies, I'm, I'm kind of that way. If I have a piece of paper on one side, I want it to be on the other side, too. Okay, so eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. All right. So there's that piece. Let's go ahead and cut this piece. Dot. Three and a quarter. So three and a quarter. By, we know it's ten and three quarters. Okay, so there's our belly band. And there's that. Okay, what are we going to put underneath? I 
Let's see. Well, we uh, blah, blah, blah. we will have this here. So let's put this here. So that'll help us. Because that will be there. So let's see what we've got. So if we add the blue, no, I'm not liking that. Oh, that's not bad. How's it go with that? That's not bad at all. Okay. Seven, so six and three quarters. Really, let's look at a couple of these pieces that I'm not a big fan of because we're going to have a um, photo mat underneath that that hardly any of that's going to show. So let's look. A few of the pieces I really am not a big fan of. We travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. That would be cool cool to do on a split page. wonder if we have it that would be cool to split to split this in between two pages there's an airplane one I believe in here too that I'm not a big fan of there it is travel is the only thing you can buy that makes you richer richer in memories let's see what this looks like So do I use the airplane? Okay, let me cut this uh, saying off. Because we can use that somewhere else. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. We need ten and three quarters. So ten and three quarters. Okay, there's our saying, so I'll put that right up there so we don't lose it. And then, we, let's see which part of this we want. Do we want to cut the airplane off, or do we want to keep the airplane? Yeah, I keep losing that. keep the airplane. So I'm going to go six and three quarters. Do six and three quarters. I hope I'm helping you ladies with the, uh, because I know sometimes the des um, putting paper down on albums can be one of the toughest parts of scrapbooking. And I do know there is quite a few ladies that they've made albums and, uh, they never decorate them because they're, they're too hard to decorate. And I wish I would have cut that just a little bit longer. I was debating on just putting this right here and then putting a border over here. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I kind of like that. I kind of like that, ladies. What's it look like this way? I 
I think I like it. So, let's get the same amount of borders on both sides here. And then I'll see where I need to cut this piece. So, I have an inch and three quarters, so I will cut this piece here an inch and a half. Yes, inch and a half. Oops, by ten and three quarters. I like that. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to round my corners here. I like it. So then, flip this open. And what are we going to do on the inside of this? Yep, I think so. And then um, I think I'll use a card. And then um, a piece of design paper or something right here. Now I'll keep the card on this side because I don't, well, I don't know. Let's see, let's look at our cut apart thing here. Let's see what we've got. <coughs> well, I eat, sleep, and travel. It's a little bit over two. Be pretty tight. Hmm, where to next? <laughs> or we could just put a photo mat here. And do I have any that's already cut? Of course not. Well, we'll just flip this over and pretend. We will pretend there's a photo mat there. Then we could put... I'm just going to kind of slice it out and see if it works. Yeah, I just couldn't see using that as a piece of paper when we can use it for cut aparts. It works, ladies. I like it. I like it. Wonder if we shouldn't be using some white photo mats because that white looks pretty nice. I think maybe we should use some white photo mats. It does. I mean, with the the white here, the white here. Okay, that's what I will do. Okay, that's it for this video. I I. I hope I'm helping you guys learn how to decorate your albums because it's it's sad when you make an album and you sit down to decorate it and you, you just can't figure how to put it together. And that's why I wanted to do this decorating series with you guys to help a lot of you out there. So if I'm helping you out, please put it in the comments below. Or if you, you know, happen to have any questions, um, feel free to put them in the comments section. I will um, answer any of your questions that you may have. Um, other than that, if you like this, um, please hit the notification bell so whenever I go live, you never miss out. Okay, ladies? So, hey, keep scrapping. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.